precision dairy technology has steadily increased over the past several years. Technologies developed for use in other industries are being adapted to uses on dairy farms, and farmers, just like the rest of society, are becoming increasingly comfortable with the use of technologies in all aspects of their lives. Today, robots can milk and feed cows with limited human involvement. High-tech sensors can monitor the physiological condition of an individual cow, allowing the dairy farmer to make more informed management decisions on how to treat her, sometimes days earlier than would have been possible without the aid of the technology. One example of precision technology on dairy farms is robotic milking systems, which automate the milking process. These systems provide greater flexibility for both the dairy farmer and the dairy cow, freeing both from the regular two or three times per day milking routine, which in turn saves time and labor. In these robotic systems, cows are milked throughout the day on their own schedule with minimal human involvement. Robotic milkers were first developed in Europe and became commercially available there in the early 1990s. The development of these systems was motivated by a desire to reduce labor requirement on dairy farms and improve the quality of life for dairy farm families. Robotic milkers were first introduced to the U.S. in 2000 and are currently used in all of the major dairy-producing regions of the United States. The first systems were introduced in Pennsylvania in 2002. Currently, over 40 farms in Pennsylvania are using robotic milkers. These farms have anywhere from a single robot to 20 robots per farm, with most having between one and four robots. Typically, a farm will have 55 to 60 cows per robot. The major brands of robotic milking systems in the United States are either single box or multi box units. Single box units have one mechanical arm per milking box, whereas multi box units have one mechanical arm servicing two or more milking boxes. While this image shows a single box unit, all robotic milking systems function very similarly. Robotic milking is a voluntary process, with each cow deciding when she wants to enter the robot for milking. Each cow in the herd is fitted with an electronic identification tag that the robot uses to identify the cow. When a cow enters the robotic milker, the robot reads the electronic tag to determine if she's ready for milking. Cows must wait a minimum interval between milkings to maintain efficient use of the robot and prevent overmilking of an individual cow. If a cow is not due for milking, the gate on the robot will open and she'll be released back into the barn. If the robot determines that she's due for milking, the cow will receive a feed reward and the robot will begin preparing her for milking. The robot is consistent in its milking routine, with every cow cleaned and milked the same way. First, the robot will clean, disinfect, and dry each of the four teats. Once the teats have been cleaned, the robot will attach the milking cups using a laser to help locate the teats to attach the milking cups. The cleaning and attachment process usually takes around one and a half to two minutes. Finally, the robot will start the milking process and the cow will be milked. This video shows the attachment process. Milking generally takes five to six minutes per cow. The robot monitors the flow of milk coming out of the cow to ensure that the cows are not over or under milked. Following milking, the robot then sprays the teats with disinfectant and releases the cow back to the barn, leaving the robot available for the next cow to enter. In addition to milking cows and monitoring milk flow, robots can also provide detailed information for farmers to improve management. The computer's dashboard screen, shown here, displays milk production and robot use efficiency. This is one of the main screens that the dairy farmer will use to monitor the performance of the cows and robot. From this screen, the farmer can navigate to more detailed information about a group of animals or a specific individual. For example, a farmer can look at Milk production for cows of different ages and stages of production, such as for first lactation animals, 91 to 120 days in milk, as shown here. Or the conductivity of the milk of an individual cow to monitor udder health of a cow suspected of having mastitis. Farmers can also use the graphs of an individual cow's milk production and rumination activity as an indication of possible changes in cow health. You can see the decrease of this cow's activity here in the circled area. 
Some systems will also monitor cow activity to aid the farmer in identifying the appropriate time to breed a cow. In this screenshot, you can see clearly the peaks indicating the time of the cow's heat cycle. Robotic milking has been adopted by many types of farms. In Pennsylvania, most farms that have adopted robots have been small to medium-sized dairy farms with fewer than 200 cows. In other parts of the country, larger farms with more than 500 cows have been adopting robotic milking systems. Let's take a closer look at some of the advantages of robotic milking. The farmer gains a more flexible work schedule. Since the robotic milkers work 24 hours a day, the farmer is not tied to the regular two to three time per day milking schedule. This enables the farmers to interact with and manage their herd beyond the usual milking activities. The farmer also has more flexibility to be involved with off-farm activities. The second advantage of these systems is the amount of data available to the farmer that improves managing the dairy. The data can include information about milk production, milk composition, cow activity, milking time, cow body weight, electrical conductivity of the milk, and more. All this information can help dairy farmers know more about each individual cow and make more informed decisions. Finally, there are also advantages to cows in a robotic milking dairy, primarily in that they benefit from a low-stress environment. In dairies that utilize robotic milkers, cows' stress is reduced by the option to be milked at any time throughout the day on their own schedule. Like any new technology, successfully adopting robotic milking can have its challenges. Anyone considering purchasing a robotic milking system should make time to visit as many robotic farms as possible to learn what has and has not worked for others. The first several months after transitioning to a robotic milking system can be a challenging time period. During the startup phase, both the cows and the dairy farmer are learning how to operate the new management system. Dairy farmers are often concerned about how well their cows will make the transition to being milked by robots. In most cases, the cows actually make the transition more easily than the farmers thought they would. You can see in this video that the cow exits the milker on her own, and the next cow enters on her own quite easily. Usually, it's just the first one to three days that are the most challenging for the cows. Initially, the cows are guided through the robot by the farm staff several times, allowing the cow to learn what the robot is and become comfortable with walking through it. Over the next several weeks, farm staff continues to monitor cow use of the robot, allowing those cows that are using the robot on their own to do so and working more with those cows that still need to be trained. By the third week, most cows should be using the robot on their own. By the third month, 90% or more of the cows should be milking voluntarily, although there will always be a certain percentage of cows that need to be fetched to the robot each day. At the same time the cows are learning to use the robot, the farmer is learning how to manage the cows, enter the information into the computer, and work with the data that's returned. Robotic milking companies and other consultants with robotic milking experience often provide training and support to farmers as they make the transition to robotic milking. Dairy farmers report that it can take six months to one year before they're comfortable working in the new system. One of the biggest challenges to a robotic milking system is managing the feeding and nutrition. The reason the cows come up to the robot to get milked is because they're looking for a feed reward. In a traditional milking system, the nutritionist formulates a total mixed ration, or TMR, that will allow the cows to produce a certain amount of milk. In a robotic milking system, however, the nutritionist must formulate a high-quality TMR that will allow the cow to produce a desired quantity of milk, but must also leave the TMR lacking in something so that the cow is motivated by a feed reward to go to the robot and be milked. Finding the right balance between providing adequate nutrition and motivating the cows to the robot is essential to having an efficient and profitable robotic milking dairy. Robotic milking systems are not appropriate for every dairy farm or every dairy farmer. However, this and other precision technologies will continue to gain popularity as dairy farmers look for ways to increase efficiency and productivity, improve cow health, and be more profitable. If you want to learn more about robotic milking systems, see the Dairy Resource Site on the Penn State Extension website at this address.